Here before me, I have the Witchwood Comforter bed chair. And as the name would suggest, the idea behind this bed chair is to be nice and comfortable. So we're gonna have a little run through the features that this bed chair has, which makes it what it is. And the first thing you might notice is that it's got a nice flat profile and it's quite low to the ground, but it does have decent extendable legs, which we'll look at a little bit later on. The next thing to look at would be the fleece lined mattress. Now, not only is the mattress fleece lined, it's also very well padded. So you've got the comfort and the warmth which comes with that pairing. So it's a nice firm mattress. That's to do with the lumbar support. Again, we'll look at that in a minute, but it's a nice firm mattress. However, you do have that padded section. So it doesn't feel like you're sleeping on a plank of wood. You've got the fleece lining and the padding there. Like I say, nice and comfortable. The color of the bed chair, as you would expect, is like an olive green, as we would want it to be, us carp anglers. And along with the padded mattress, you've also got the padded pillow as well. So when you're sleeping on this bed chair, you've got the comfort underneath your body, and then where your head rests as well, you have the comfort there too. And that pillow is built into the bed chair, so you're not gonna lose it. So a nice comfy mattress with fleece lining, and then padded at the head end for a nice comfortable sleep. If I fold the head end up first you'll see here the legs now these are fully extendable and as you can see there there's a nice long range on this leg some bed chairs you just don't get that and when you're trying to level it out over uneven ground if you don't have enough extension in those legs it can actually be very hard to get the desired flat level bed chair nice long legs like that not only can you extend the bed high up off the ground should you need to but like I just said, it makes getting it nice and flat over uneven ground much easier. Big mud feet on the bottom, so you've got lots of grip there. It's a large foot, so it's gonna grab the ground, hold you in position nicely, stop the bed chair sliding about. And then, like I said a minute ago, it's got lots of grip on the bottom, so that once that foot touches ground, it stays there. And like I say, extend these out. Between those two features, the big foot and the extendable leg, you've got pretty much everything covered to be able to position this bed chair over pretty much any ground. You'll see here in the mid section, this is the lumbar support. Now, traditionally bed chairs used to have elastic running all the way around the edges and actually they became quite saggy. Nowadays, it seems more common to have the elastic running through the center part like it is here. And what that does is makes the bed chair much firmer. So when you sit on it, it doesn't sag. A saggy bed chair is gonna give you an uncomfortable night's sleep and it's gonna do your back no good. So by having the elastic in the midsection here, which is adjustable, you can tighten this should you wish to. It does come pretty much tightened as you'd want it to be, but depending on how much you weigh, how big a guy or girl you are, you might wanna tighten that up. It's entirely up to you. That is an option that you have at your disposal. And personally, these kind of bed chairs, for me, they're so much better. I've suffered with a bag back for many years and Having this here, it does really, it really does make a difference. So a great addition to any bed chair, I think, um, changes the game really in terms of comfort. And it's that that gives it that real firm feeling when you lie on it, which is what you want. Fold that back down. Oh, one, of the, one other thing, sorry, before I do fold it down, the hinges here. So it's got nice big hinges here on the bed. And what that is gonna do is enable you to fold this away with a sleeping bag attached to it without the bed wanting to sort of open itself back up and being at funny angles. You'll get, a, you'll get a bag on here and it will fold up nice and flat still. So big hinges there, that does that for you. Fold the bed back up and then we move to the tail end. There's no feet here. This is a three leg bed chair. So you've got one at the end, one sort of half centrally, one on each third sort of, or two in the midsection I should say, and one at the end. This isn't a four leg bed chair, so you don't get the one on the tail end. So if your mate comes and sits in your swim, do not let him sit on the end of the bed. He will bend it. It is a steel frame. So, you know, it's a strong frame. Doesn't weigh too much. I'll go into the exact details in a minute in terms of the weight, but you know, it has a steel frame, but has retained um, nice elements in terms of weight. It's not gonna weigh you down. So that's about everything in terms of the actual bed chair itself. Three legs, nice padded mattress, lumbar support for comfort, padded pillow, big feet, and you know extendable legs with lots of adjustment on them. And to this bed, you can attach a comforter sleeping bag and comforter cover, which I will add now. And this is the comforter sleeping bag. So we'll now have a little look at that. It is a lightweight 
warm sleeping bag. This is not designed for all season use. If you want to do that, you add the bed shed cover. That's something we will look at in a minute. So you can use this, let's say from spring to end of autumn, but for those real colder months, it's advisable that you add that extra layer. This is lightweight, this is warm, but it is not a winter, all out winter sleeping bag. Let me just make that clear. So the bag weighs 3.75 kilos, so it's not heavy and it's made from a ripstop material as you would like it to be. As carp hangers, we come into contact with lots of brambles and those are the sort of things that can wreck a sleeping bag if it doesn't have that material. So the ripstop just prevents it from ripping. Wonder where it got that name from. Inside you have a fleece liner and fleece lining, sorry, lots of padding to keep you warm and comfortable. But yeah, that's a fleece liner and that runs all the way through the length of the bag. It's fleece lined from the head down to the toe. You've got toggles here which you're able to tighten or fasten the top of the sleeping bag with and you can do that on both the head and on the I don't know what bit you'd call that but on the sort of face of the bag as well so you've got a toggle either side enabling you to tighten that right up should you wish to little bits of velcro to secure the bag once you've zipped it up use the velcro just to fasten that in place stops the zip undoing and the bag opening itself up so if you leave it like that you've got the chances as you're rolling around you could open the bag up the zips are nice heavy duty zips they're the crash style zips so they open really easily that's a real smooth free running zip there but yeah, like I say, fasten it up to the top, fix the Velcro in place, and that's gonna stop that from opening up. At both ends, so at the tail end of the bag, you've got this big flap that goes over the end of the bed to secure the tail end in place nicely so that the end of the bag isn't gonna fall off. And at the head end, you've got the same. So both head and tail, this piece here, just secures the bag in place nicely. And then on the underside of the bed chair, there's a strap that goes around the bed, clips together and fixes the center in place. So once the bag is on the bed, you've attached these at either end, you've done the clip up, it's not gonna go anywhere. So that's the sleeping bag. And if we now add the bed chair cover, we'll have a little look at that as well. Uh, this is the bed chair cover. And as you can see, it's exactly the same color as the sleeping bag itself. Like the sleeping bag, it is fleece lined, so it's the same inner on the underside of the sleeping bag as you have, so it's the inner of the sleeping bag. So nice warm fleece lining. The top of the cover is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So adding this to your bed chair, as I said earlier, will make this sleeping bag beneath it something you can use all year round. So even in the depths of winter, with this additional layer, you've got added warmth and you've got the prevention from the damp as well so it's going to keep you warm and dry but like I say it's not fully waterproof so if you sleep out in the in the rain you're going to get wet eventually but there is an element of protection from the rain most of us aren't going to sleep outside this will go in the bivy and if you sit down with damp clothes on or whatever you know it's not going to seep through the bag it's not going to make it's not going to seep through the cover sorry and make your bag damp or wet at the front of the bed chair if I just lean over here you'll see that there is a flap and what that does it stops the draft so hanging down lower than the bed itself or the frame of the bed should I say that flap there which runs from the head right the way down to the sort of bottom end of the bed chair that stops any draft coming in so when you're in the bag the cold cannot get inside and make you cold now if I flap the tail end up again you'll see that like the sleeping bag itself it's got the little lip thing at the bottom which you hook over the bed chair which fixes the cover to the bed at the tail end. Now, if I fold that back over, you, there are fixing points along the cover itself. I've fixed it at the front already, but if we have a little look around the back here, I will show you how to fix this in place. As you can see here, you've got one, two, three points of adjustment, and it is via these that you attach the cover to the bed chair, and you do it using this little Velcro strap here. And this is removable via a little popper. I'll call it a popper. There we go. So you can take that off and then you can then move it up to the head end, for example. And if that's where you want to set it to, you simply slide that through there and oh, click that into place. And then if we look at the underside of the bed chair to here, we can attach that strap. So we pop the Velcro round like so, fix it into place. 
and there you go the cover is fixed in place i would actually say that's probably a little bit tight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly undo that i'm going to reposition it into the middle of the three click that into place and then fix it to this point here there we go much better cover fixed perfectly and that is the witchwood comforter system in all its glory the last thing to talk about is the price it will vary depending on where you shop of course but the sleeping bag cover will cost you 50 quid the bag itself will cost you 80 odd quid and the bed chair should cost you around about 160 pounds so there we go if you're in the market for a new bed have a little look at this one and remember if you shop with fish on tackle and you're a topography member you can save yourself 10 percent on all of your purchases You've just had a small taste of the content we produce here at Sopography, and if you would like the full experience, please head over to www.sopography.co.uk where we have over 600 premium videos waiting for you.